The Eagle Max Coin Option Income Strategy ETF known as Kony has been pretty much all the hype as of lately, and maybe for good reason considering this ETF apparently has a distribution rate of 115.56%. Yes, you heard me right, this ETF is yielding over 100%, which at least in my almost 7 years of dividend investing is almost unheard of. Now in this video, we are going to dig a little bit deeper into Kony and see exactly how this ETF works and what it has to offer. Then later on in the video, we are going to go through the exact math on what would happen if an investor in theory would just invest $20 per day into Kony and how big of a portfolio this would lead to later on down the road. Now, if this interests you at all, make sure to please stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get into it. I have some huge news to share with you guys, my brand new dividend investing ebook and custom dividend tracker that I've been working on for weeks now is finally done. So go ahead and grab a copy down below, it's the first link in my description. Thank you in advance, and let's get right into the video. So right here on the Yieldmax website, it says Kony, the Yieldmax Coin Option Income Strategy ETF. So if you're familiar with TSLY, this is the same company, they make a bunch of different ETFs. They have things like TSLY, they have APLY, and generally speaking, they basically use different higher beta stocks and or ETFs and build out a synthetic cover call strategy around them in order to generate massive amounts of premium, which then is paid out to investors in the form of dividends. But it says right here, this fund does not directly invest in coin. So coin, of course, meaning the Coinbase stock, which as of recently, because crypto is booming, it's done pretty well. But this fund does not invest into it directly. And I've explained on different videos exactly how this works, but basically through the use of options and a synthetic cover call strategy, it's a strategy very similar to that of a cover call without actually owning the underlying. It then says very importantly, investing in this fund involves a high degree of risk. And I think we all pretty much should know that, seeing that this ETF has an over 100% distribution rate. It then says issuer specific attributes may cause an investment in the fund to be more volatile than traditional pooled investment which diversifies risk or the market generally. The value of the fund which focuses on individual security coin may be more volatile than traditionally pooled investments or the market as a whole and may be performed differently from the value of traditional pooled investment or the market as a whole. Then lastly, importantly, it says the fund strategy will cap its potential gains if coin shares increase in value. And this is of course because it uses that synthetic cover call strategy. Now the fund strategy is subject to all potential losses if coin shares decrease in value. So even though this fund does utilize a synthetic cover call strategy, it doesn't mean that if the underlying drops in price like crazy, the synthetic cover call is only going to help so much. Next, I think it's worth looking at the distributions that we've seen from Kony since this ETF's inception. Now keep in mind, this ETF as of right now is around $25 per share. And back in October, we saw a $1.20 dividend paid. This ETF pays a dividend on a monthly basis, and these dividends are massive. Back in November, $1.07, and then just recently in December, $2.46 dividend paid, which of course makes this distribution rate, at least since inception, insanely, insanely high. And like we touched on earlier, because of this ETF strategy utilizing the synthetic cover call strategy, during certain times of the market, depending on how the underlying stock that the ETF sort of references to, trades, you might see massive, massive distributions, but sometimes you might not see as big of ones. Considering back in November, to be fair, the ETF paid a distribution that was less than half of what the most recent December distribution was. But either way, no matter how you want to look at it, I would be very, very happy to get paid over a dollar on a monthly basis for an ETF that costs around 25 bucks. So next you might be asking me, well, it sounds too good to be true. Maybe you understand sort of on how this ETF works, but what are the downsides? What are the risks? Well, in the case of Kony so far on the max time frame, this ETF is actually up 34.36%. And that's, of course, not even including the massive dividends. But I promise you, when it comes to these higher yielding cover call ETFs, it's not always the case. If you look right here, TSLY, another yield max ETF, you can see TSLY is down 46% on the max time frame, which basically means this ETF has lost half its value within the last year or so. Now, these cover call ETFs basically lose their value because if the underlying reference stock drops within a certain time frame, the ETF that references it, of course, has the risk of dropping with it. But on the other hand, if within a given time frame, the underlying Tesla, or in Kony's case, coin, rockets up in price, because of the synthetic cover call strategy, the upside is only going to be able to go so high before it's capped. So for this reason, a lot of these cover call ETFs do see price decay pretty aggressively over time. Although, like I said, in the case of Kony, at least so far, since about August, because of how the underlying coin has been trading, the ETF is up 34%, which we can't really argue with. 
So the biggest risks when it comes to buying into these cover call ETFs is simply put, price decay and or the risk that dividends are going to be getting smaller and smaller over time or even cut completely, which we just do not know. Because these types of ETFs pay out a different dividend on a monthly basis, depending on how that fund trades within the given time frame. You don't necessarily know if you're going to be getting a $2.46 dividend, or maybe, most likely not, but maybe no dividend at all. But that doesn't change the fact that just for fun, it's crazy to type some of the numbers into the dividend calculator and see what we'd be left with just after a few years with a small investment into something like Kony because of the massive, massive dividend yield. Now, if the investor just invested $20 per day, so 365 days a year times 20 is $7,300 per year, and started with just $1,000 of Kony, with the 100% plus dividend yield currently, a monthly distribution and dividend reinvestment turned on, this is what an investor could get in theory. Now keep in mind before I show you these numbers, this is just for entertainment purposes. It's very unlikely, in my opinion at least, that Kony is going to continue to move up in price and also pay a 100% annual dividend yield for long here. Although I guess anything's possible. But just to give you an idea, a $1,000 investment into Kony would generate around $1,600 per year in dividends, which is insane. Year number two after the reinvestment and after the $7,300 contribution or $20 per day, this investor would have around $14,000 per year in dividends. By year number three, if nothing else changed, if none of those numbers change, which again, in my opinion, they most likely are going to, but just for fun, we could see $36,000 per year in dividends. And by year number five, $150,000 of principal with around $141,000 per year in dividends. Now, as you go further and further down, it just gets more and more ridiculous because the power of compounding really gets crazy with a 100% annual dividend yield. And the reality is, is that Kony just hasn't been around long enough yet for investors like myself to really know what could possibly happen in the future. And of course, if or if not the reference stock coin starts to potentially trade much differently, things can change in a single moment. Now, just for some more clarity, if we were to stack up coin next to Kony and invest $10,000 into both of the stock and ETF at a starting date of August 15th of this year, in the case of coin, we would see a total return of 94% or to be more specific, that $10,000 investment will be worth around $19,400. Now, if we were to have invested that same exact amount of money into Kony, and this was back in August, that $10,000 investment in Kony would be up around 61.04%. And the $10,000 would have been now $16,104. So what's crazy, and this is one of the reasons a lot of the Yieldmax ETFs are getting a lot of flack, is that a lot of investors are saying, great, Kony is up 61% as far as total return goes, which means price return plus dividends. But guess what? Coin, the underlying reference stock, is up 94%. And this is exactly the same in the case of Tesla or Tesla. So if an investor in theory were to have just invested $10,000 into coin, they would have been much better off and they would have been up more money at the same exact time frame than that if they would have invested the same amount of money into Kony, believe it or not. So I say that just to prove that although some of these yield max ETFs, these super high yielding ETFs, in my opinion, are a lot of fun and I personally do have these in my portfolio in small amounts, I do think that investors need to realize that they still aren't necessarily a one and done perfect investment vehicle, at least not in my opinion. But when it comes to the coin option income strategy ETF or Kony, I want to hear from you guys down below. Are you personally holding on to any Kony as of right now through your portfolios? And are you personally benefiting from this 115% distribution rate? Drop a yes or no in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.